Hey y'all, Eric here with a, another one. Welcome back to a, another week. Wanted to bring you quickly into the lawn, show you two things. One, how I trim plugs in a smaller plug grow, and also two, how I take care of looping stolons and what might cause those. I believe I understand what is causing my looping stolons, and it started from the very beginning of the plug grow. So stick around, please like, subscribe, and let's get right into the lawn. So here is the mailbox side of the lawn, and you can see that the plugs are starting to take off, but they do need to be mowed. Now, the good news about doing a smaller area this time around is that I don't necessarily have to bring my mower out and stomp all over the plugs. But what I first wanted to show you are these looping stolons. See, it has a lot of great stolen going to waste. And I probably should have taken them out sooner. So what I'm gonna do with these is I'm just gonna cut them out. Um, some people might try to root them and put them back in. But for me, the chances of these things actually rooting in a pot or in a pot of water are probably low. And there's a lot of energy going to these looping stolons that, uh, that could be going to the stolons that are connected to the ground. So I'll be cutting those out along with trimming some of the plugs. And I'll show you how I do that. So here's a great example of a looping stolon here. So what I'm gonna do is I see where it starts back here and see where it's going. I'm gonna do a little bit of a tug. Well, feels like it's attached on both ends. So what I'm gonna do is just separate them in the middle. There we go, see, and that just came out, that came out like nothing. It looks like there is still some here that are gonna connect, which is great, but definitely don't want that high looping stuff. Because uh, that'll actually cause more looping stolons because uh, the stolons won't know where to go. Um, and if I went over that with my mower, uh, I would surely um, rip out roots that I didn't necessarily have to, uh, to rip out. Here is the other side. The one, as you can see, I let this go a little bit longer. It's a little taller. Um, we do have a little bit of spurge coming through, but uh, I've never had a year, no matter how well I time my uh pre-emergent that spurge doesn't come through but you can see look at all these stolons coming out of these plugs on this side oh, looks like a little bit of fungus there um but we're getting a lot of great growth out of these plugs it's unbelievable and i think uh these plugs are growing faster one because this is a water route and we had all that rain and this is where all the water is being diverted um so they are getting a ton of water, even if it's just a light rain. But also, uh, there is a bunch more established grass. And when these plugs sense that there's other grass to connect with, they start doing that. They just start connecting. So uh, really happy with how this is turning out. Let me show you how I clip these things. Looking at these plugs, you can see great growth, but tall. We are getting a little bit of quote unquote St. Augustine seeds shoots but uh just go through and give a little haircut nothing too aggressive just want to cut the tips off you know and just come out come out it's pretty relaxing in the morning and just give you know give a little trim your plugs and uh, you'll do a lot less damage than you would mowing. Hand trimming plugs can be beneficial because you will not ruin any of them running over with a self-propelled mower or even a zero turn. Uh, for me it gets me out there also to uh, look within the grass. Uh, I don't know if you noticed but we do have some of that gray leaf spot which I will be tackling uh, today with the looping stolons. 
sometimes it feels like you're cutting away some really, really good growth. And it is good growth, except for the fact that it's not in contact with the ground. And it's really sucking a lot of the energy out of the plugs that could be going into runners uh, that are gonna do some ground cover for you. So, uh, you know, tug on them, feel if there's any roots. Uh, if there are, just cut away the areas that are looping. Uh, it'll make it look more aesthetically pleasing, but you also make your plugs more efficient at spreading out. Well, that's about it for this one. Thanks so much for joining me on another episode and we will see you on the next one. Bye now.